So today we're going to read Voices in the Park by Anthony Brown. So this story is very unique versus the other ones that I've been reading. This one is a four-person story narrative. So we're going to hear four different perspectives going into the park this one day. And we can talk about it as we read. So the first voice goes first. It was time to take Victoria, our pedigree Labrador, and Charles, our son, for a walk. When we arrived at the park, I let Victoria off her leash. Immediately, some scruffy mongrel appeared and started bothering her. I shooed it off, but the horrible thing chased her all over the park. I ordered it to go away, but it took no notice of me whatsoever. Sit, I said, Charles, here. Do you see the two dogs in the back playing? I was just planning what we should have to eat that evening when I saw Charles had disappeared. Oh dear, where had he gone? You got some frightful types in the park these days. I called his name for what seemed like ages. Then I saw him talking to a rough looking child. Charles, come here at once, I said, and come here, please, Victoria. And we walked home in silence. Okay, so that was the first voice. That was the first person talking. And so far, we've learned that we have a mom with her son named Charles at the park with their dog named Victoria. And so far, we just know two dogs is playing with each other and the son to seem to be playing with another child. Did you take that? Did you see that? And obviously, the mom is not happy about any of this. The second voice. I needed to get out of the house, so me and Smudge took the dog to the park. Does this character look familiar? This is the walk that they took to the park. Do you notice a difference between their walk and the first person's walk? He loves it there. I wish I had half the energy he got. I settled on the bench and looked through the paper for a job. I know it's a waste of time, but you gotta have some hope, haven't you? Then it was time to go. Smudge cheered me up. She chattered happily to me on the way home. Now, this is the same walk. Look at it. Completely changed, didn't it? What did you notice that was different? Santa's no longer sitting. Now we have the third voice. So far, we have a mom and a son and her dog. We have a dad, a child, and their dog. Third voice. I was at home on my own again. It's so boring. Then my mother said that it was time for our walk. There was a friendly dog in the park and Victoria was having a great time. I wish I was. So we found Charles. So it's Charles talking right now. It's his point of view. Did you wanna come on the slide? A voice asked. It was a girl unfortunately, but I went anyway. She was great on the slide. She went really fast. I was amazed. The two dogs raced around like old friends. 
The girl took off her coat and swung on the climbing bars, so I did the same. I'm good at climbing trees, so I showed her how to do it. She told me her name was Smudge. A funny name, I know, but she's nice. Then my mother caught us talking, and I had to go home. Maybe Smudge will be there next time. So what did we notice? We noticed that the dad has a girl and a dog, and we noticed that everybody has a different view of the park. Did you notice how sunny it was when there was playing and the dog was running around? Everyone's perspective seems to change with each, each encounter. Here goes the fourth voice. Dad had been really fed up, so I was happy when he said we can go take Albert to the park. Albert's always in such a hurry to be let off his leash. He went straight up to this nice dog and sniffed his backside. He does that a lot. Of course, the other dog didn't mind, but its owner was really angry. The silly twit. Ooh, look at Charles' mom. She seems really frightening, don't it? I got, talk I got to talking to this boy. I thought he was kind of a wimp at first. But he's okay. We played on the seesaw and he didn't say much, but later on, he was more friendly. Have that ever happened to you? You meet someone and you're not really sure, and you're really quiet at first, but then as time go on, you're having like the best time with them. That's because sometimes we take a moment to relax with other people around. Sometimes with strangers, other kids that we don't know, we're a little intimidated and that's okay. We both burst out laughing when we saw Albert taking a swim. Then we played on the bandstand and I felt really, really happy. Charlie picked a flower and gave it to me. Then his mom called him and he had to go. He looked sad. So we can tell they was having a good time, despite not knowing each other at first. When I got home, I put the flour in some water and made Dad a nice cup of coca. So that's the end. So how about that story? We saw four different people, two adults, and two kids give their perspective on going to the same park at the same time. So let's go to my favorite part of the book and talk about it. So within the scene, we see Smudge Dad and her and the dog goes to the park. And on their walk, the scenery is very different. Remember, the dad was kind of down. He was sad and out. But on the way back from the park, his mood changed because his daughter and the park was able to help change his mood and clear his mind. So do you see the difference? Sometimes all we need is a moment, a moment of outside, a moment of play, just to relieve ourselves of whatever is worrying us. And obviously Smudge Dad was looking for a job, so that was worrisome for him. Overall, we all are different and we have to give each other a chance. You saw the two kids were very skeptical of each other at first, but once they played with each other, they realized how much fun it would be. Thanks for reading with me.